Fuckin' my next D, slide in the power road Shoot out your digger first cowgirl Do what you bite on it, better throw on a towel girl Cause I don't think you gon' last Love me a blur with an ass Switch to a friend and I smash 32 on me, I'm Nash My diamonds hidden, but watch how the emeralds splash Chaos control, think it bad man You not the brave and the bold You better watch and behold You better do what you motherfuckers hope Hey, yo, Dante, can you all do me a favor? I'm, I'm recording no right now, so could, could you yell out Dragon Squad, bitch? Dragon Squad, bitch. Get in! Hey. Dragon Squad, bitch. Wait, Press guy, Dragon Squad, bitch back in the reaction. Today we're back here with some more Seth Dre Trotter videos um, with these Instagram reels and shit like that. The last one was fire. Um, I did make that shit a little bit too longer than it needed to be, though. I ain't gonna lie. Um, um, I, I, I know when you guys was like, um, you don't mind the longer videos, which I don't, too. I don't mind the longer videos when it comes to some of my favorite YouTubers, but I don't think I'm on that level yet to where I can just start to, to where I can, you know, be doing that type of shit, so... We about to get into the jank suit to talk about, you know, you know, like, like, like it was like a I'm Dante, you know, but, you know, if I was big and shit like that, then all right, nigga. Hey, I, I, I can go on a fucking uh, yap session as niggas be calling it nowadays, but, but, you know, I do gotta um, tone that shit down a little bit. So we about to get into the jank, um, see what outlandish out of pocket shit's been going on, cause I've been seeing some shit, <laughs> I've been seeing some videos. So about how strange the shit, um. Oh, we gotta start recording. Yeah, Sersky. Oh, yeah. Um, I got a music video coming soon, nigga. That shit's about to. I know you saw that shit in the beginning. I know you saw that uh, preview in the beginning. That shit's about to be a motherfucking banger. It's about to be a motherfucking banger. Um, let's get to the first one, though. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Show these dick. This is exactly what I like. She got some thighs on her. Um, hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Polo shirts and khakis. A bunch of white boys are wearing the same thing. Like, damn. <laughs> hey, why she going hard? She already started off with the racism. It's crazy. But no, nah, um, I mean polo, polos and khakis. Like, like that's just a classic everyday fit for the um, for the uh, for the white folk. Like, that's that's a classic fit. N niggas with polos, like that, that's just a classic. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Polo shirts and khakis. A bunch of white boys are wearing the same. I mean, but th th they rocking them hoes though. Thing like it's just so ugly and it's boring. It just gives racist. I'm sorry. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Really, that's the crazy. flat hats and those freaking foam runners people wear. They're not cute anymore. They're worn out. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Not a when they school. wear really crazy patterns with hot pink. It just never matches. <laughs> hey, what's what? the worst male fashion trend? The big. As me personally. I'm, I'm not like with niggas that be wearing pink. I don't know, man. It's a little bit zesty. Now, now if some shit has pink in it, then that's perfectly cool. But if your whole outfit is, is just like mainly pink, that's kind of wild, bro. Big fake chains. I understand if it's like small and it's like fake, but it's when it's that big, it just feels a little gaudy. Hey, what's the worst male fashion? A little gaudy. She fine though. What the fuck? It never matches. <laughs> hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? The big fake chains. I understand if it's like small and it's like fake, but it's when it's that big, it just feels a little gaudy. Hey, what's the worst uh, male fashion trend? Tank tops that are like bigger fits, kind of like bid day or like sorority tank tops. I just don't think they're very like masculine. Hey, what's the worst male fashion trend? Middle school drip that has like the champion hoodie with like a bunch of champion all around and the champion boxers, them draws popping up like. What? I never seen nobody with a champion hoodie. I, I mean, that is middle school drip, but I've never seen a nigga with a champion hoodie like that since middle school. Niggas still be wearing on champion, but um, what about your fashion trend? Um, one fashion trend that women do be wearing that be played the fuck out. I mean, at the girl fine, she fine. I really don't give a fuck. But the leggings with the running shoes, and then you have the socks going over the leggings. That's an ass fashion trend. Or or or, or they be wearing that shit with, with like with the Uggs? Come on, nigga. Come on, gang. Come on, gang. Nigga, it's fucking summer. Why are you have on leggings with Uggs? I know, boy, nigga. I know that. I know you sweaty. I know them feet sweaty. 
Let's look. <laughs> let's stop it, it, it. You got this oversized Walmart ass shirt. Come on, man. You you have no drip. You have no fashion trend. Mm -mm. High boosters. Show your real height. <laughs> I've never seen a nigga with high boosters. If a nigga wearing high boosters, yeah, um, that shit. Yeah, we gotta we gotta talk to you about those, brother. Um, yeah, uh, show your real height. Who the fuck is these though? No, she fine though. Nigga, do she even go to school here? She ain't got no backpack. It's the worst male fashion trend. Like she got no school surprise. Leggings under their basketball shorts and they're not athletes and they just walk around campus like that. That's disgusting. Hey, what's the? Mm. If you if you don't do no athletic activity, yes, that's weird, but. You don't, you don't know that them niggas could be fucking hooping uh, in between classes or some shit. I don't know. Worst male fashion trend. Nike Tex. Nike Tex. That, 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 that's a good one. I, uh, me personally, uh, y'all guys ever seen, have you guys ever been like, because like Nike Tex aren't bad, but I don't feel like that would be my style type shit. Like, I don't think it's bad but it is overplayed i ain't gonna lie you seen ice spice with the with the damn kais and that and nike tech uh viral clip that when that shit dropped a couple uh i think was that last year it was like a couple months ago i don't know but yeah that shit was wild that boy put that shit on instantly that boy was changing in the booth spinning like superman shit was crazy um like like i can't see myself wearing the nike tech but i don't think there's, there's, there's nothing else to be wrong with it. it it is outplayed though i can't lie though one fashion trend that I hate, though, that I see, I be seeing niggas wear on, <laughs> bro, the opium shit, bro. Niggas that just be having a wardrobe wearing on all black. My nigga, you are not Homicide Gang. You not Ken Carson. You're not D Lone. You're not Playboy Cardi. It'd be cool for a couple fits, but then, like, some niggas, they be ODing with the shit, with the accessories. They be, like, like, I don't, like, like they, they, they be doing all this and shit, like, come on, bro. Like, like, that, 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 that be one of the trends that I'll be fucking with, like, uh, like, some people can pull it off, but some people can't, like, like, I, I actually, I actually just had a fit recently that was like that, the, the whole opium fit. Um, got a word of Comic-Con. Check out my Instagram, link in the description down below. Um, I had the damn... Had the damn uh, Kizumi Worldwide uh, Garo beanie with the damn crosses on that bitch. Um, I had a Chrome Heart Amy shirt. That shit was fine. I had a Chrome Heart Amy the Hedgehog shirt. Chrome Heart belt. Um, these Phantom Troop like jorts, like opium ass jorts. And I had a um, Totem Carry fucking uh, vest. I had that shit on. Is my whole wardrobe going to look like that? No. Yet again, it's the fucking summer. Why are you wearing on all black? Uh, niggas trying to be mysterious, my nigga. You're not mysterious. Let's stop it. But um, that that's fashion fashion that I hate. But do y'all niggas know a fashion trend that I feel like I've seen? I've been seeing more people wear on nowadays. I feel like I'm the one that. I, I, don't, I, I know I'm a small YouTuber. I know I got videos. I got hella views. And I got videos on me getting no views. But I've been getting around here. I, I got like, I, I've, I've got like almost 2 million of views on my YouTube, SoundCloud, and Instagram combined. So I, so I know I've been out there on the fucking internet like that. But the glasses change, bro. I'm, bro, before, I know I'm not the first nigga to wear glasses chains. I know I, I um... I didn't really get the idea for nobody, but I've seen, you know, like, old people, like, they would obviously be wearing this shit like that, like, like the old, like, the grannies and the grandpa and shit like that, but, and I've seen niggas have it on sunglasses, but you never seen niggas have glasses chains on a regular ass, regular prescription glasses, I feel like I'm the nigga that came up with that shit, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I was the first nigga rocking that shit, and then I seen Cam Newton rocking this shit, and now I'm in a grocery store. I'm seeing I'm seeing employees rock this shit. I'm seeing people. I'm now seeing people wear glasses chains on their own prescription glasses. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, niggas, that give me my credit. I know I'm the first thing that came up with that. I ain't never seen nobody wear them bitches on besides old people until I put them bitches on. I swear, bro. I swear I came up with that shit. But here's the next jump.
Hey, what's your part, man? Making fun of male sizes is like making fun of special ed kids. You say that you can't. <laughs> hey, what's going on down there in Louisiana, bro? These niggas be having the most outlandish shit ever. What did you just say to me, bro? Hey, what's your part, man? Making fun of. Making fun of male dick sizes is like making fun of special ed kids. Male sizes is like making fun of special ed kids. You say that you can't make fun of special ed children because they can't change that, but neither can men. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like copium for niggas with small dicks. I'm not trying to hear it. Um. <laughs> now I see why he had his face covered. He's a he has hey <laughs> he has shrimp dick. He has mini meat. <laughs> that nigga got mini meat. Nah, that's crazy. Hey. Hey, if y'all ever see a nigga on campus with, with this fit on, my nigga, hey, we, hey, we, we know who you is, buddy. You ain't getting no hoes. Hey, what's your part, man? I like watching babies, like, get hurt. Hey, what's your... Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, fucking nah. I'm not gonna lie. That's not even... I'm not... That's not even funny. I'm not gonna make a joke about that shit. Oh, that's not even funny. You... Something should happen to her. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Something like like I ain't saying she gotta get hurt, but I mean like she gotta get taken. If she on some valedictorian list, she need to get taken off that shit immediately. Um, she has to be watched. She needs psychic evaluation. She needs to have therapy. Who the fuck says they like seeing babies get hurt? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? As she said, people like like let's just say, like, like like people in general like 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 if niggas be falling down and shit like that. Okay, okay, ha ha ha. But she says specifically babies, my nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? That shit kind of that shit really annoyed me. I'm not gonna lie, that shit kind of really annoyed me. Nigga, children are supposed to be the future. Babies, they're fucking babies. What do you mean seeing them get hurt? I that shit, nah, bro. That shit not funny, bro. Um. He's like get hurt, like watching babies. Nah, fuck that. I hope you get what's coming to you. I'm not. I hope you get what's coming to you. To be honest, it's all fun and games until it's your baby that get hurt. Something happened to your baby, and you the one that's crying. Then we gonna then you you if that shit happened to you, go back and run back this video of you saying you like seeing babies get hurt. Bitch ass nigga. That's like, like that's just not part, funny. Man. Athletes shouldn't make more money than doctors and nurses. Cause like, what what y'all doing for real? Entertaining y'all, bitch ass. But I see, I see what she's saying though. But I see what she's saying. Why she got her face covered? She ain't even fucking say anything. Um. But no, nah, that is true though. Like, if if if, if you like. Like, yeah, like teachers and doctors and stuff like that, they should be getting paid a lot. I, athletes are getting paid a lot too, but like, but like athletes are actually they're actually working out and putting in the work, being fit. You know, you know, e either they're fit as fuck, which means that they're working out on their bodies, or they're or they're mentally fit when of like understanding the, how the game is played and just like having smarts and knowledge. It might not be book smart knowledge, but knowledge in that field, like sports. They put in work too, but I do see what she's saying though. She she she's she not wrong about that. Um, for real, part, man. I most definitely did little y'all be wearing with the little skirt, little, little Lululemon skirts and the um QC air shoes. Take it off, take it the f off. Like, I'm, I'm tired of seeing it every time I turn around. They go, bitch, just grab some shoes. Y'all got sh that's the wear. Hey, what's your part, man? Jaden Daniels is about. better than Joe Burrow. Trump. I ain't even like I ain't even doing football season videos. I don't even know how the fuck this shit has followed me around. Joe Burrow is Jaden Daniels. He ain't even take a fucking snap. Oh, 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 oh my fault, my fault. They had L the LSU campus. Jaden Daniels, Joe Burrow. Okay, cool. Okay, I, I, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. He means college. Their time at LSU. Um, Jaden does Jaden Daniels. Won a national title. Jaden Daniels might be more.
skill when it comes to like adding the element of him running, but overall though, but Joe Burrow has skill too. He just, he just has like the arm throwing skill, and he has a championship. I can't go for that, buddy. But I mean, they in the LSU, so. I don't know. Parvan. No hate. Really proud of them. But can we, like, let the national championship, like, go? Like, it's enough. Angel Reese, great. Flaje, great. Let them go to class. Like, why are we blowing them up so much they can't even be on camp? Like, you not a hooping. Great. Like, yeah. yeah but get that money, I guess. Where's the schoolwork at? Like, <laughs> you put everything first, but that's but that's schoolwork. Posting up with that dog when he's my else commercials. I'm turning it out. <laughs> Damn, they hate nobody hating on Angel Reese like that, though. Nah, niggas, niggas be hating on athletes like that. Man, that, that shit crazy. I mean, I, I see what she's saying though. Um, book smarts are important because I did did not hear something that um Angel Reese apparently her GPA was dog shit or something like that. Yeah, but I mean, she wanted to be an athlete though. She she, she like she, like she wanted to hoop. So I'm not I'm, I'm not really mad at her wanting to to do that because. Some hey, some niggas don't want to do school. Some niggas want to go to the league to help get themselves out of their situation that they was in before. That you know they might have been poor and shit like that, growing up in the hood. They trying to get out of that environment, get their family out of that environment. Okay, I'm not mad at that. If you don't give a fuck about books and shit like that, um, you know, you know, you use your athleticism. To, you can use your at your athleticism to do that, or you can use your book smarts to do that. I don't see nothing necessarily bad or wrong with it, but. I see what she's saying though. I see what she's saying though. All right, let's get, let's get to the next one though. Hey, tell me something out of pocket. Look, as a woman, you pulling out of my spot at a certain hour of the day. Don't pull up if you're not. <laughs> don't even try to <laughs> if you're not. That's facts. Not <laughs> what you here for? Hey, tell me something out of. Hey, nigga, that is true though, nigga. Y'all be one head, but when it comes for the return, oh, oh, I'm, I'm not good at giving head. I, I, I my dick sucking skills ain't like that. Hey, you gonna learn today. You gotta get better somehow. It's time to train. What are you talking about? Pocket. One time I was hanging out with this guy like six in the morning, and you know he was f***ing me and stuff, and he he came from it. I, I, I tell me something out of pocket. Ain't that normal? <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? That's not. I mean, I guess that's something out of pocket. I feel like that's normal, but for her to be on social media and saying that, I guess that's out of pocket. I just feel like if you're a. B you have to be a nice, good person. All right, why say that? Because, like, pick a struggle, you know? Like, you can't be <laughs> harder than me, but you too, like, uh-uh. All right, put your part, man. Nah, I mean, I mean niggas could be bad because they fat as shit, though. I don't know. They, they could be, like, some self-hate shit going on. Um, you ruin people's lives. All right, why say that? <laughs> um, because... Put your part, man. Man, what is she talking about ruining people's lives? If you don't want to be on camera, he put the smiley faces up. If niggas still find out who you are, that ain't got shit to do with me, nigga. You could just say no to the interview. I be like, y'all be telling on your motherfucking selves. Like, sure, they just said that she just fucked the nigga. That's at six a.m. in the morning. He was fucking the shit out, shit out her ass. You ain't, you, you literally didn't have to answer that question. That a guy can be a, but a girl can't. Why was that? Cause who wants to date a girl who's a, with a guy, they get more leeway. Yeah. Why was that? Damn, you're asking too much. Right, see. Yeah, see, you can't take your opinion serious. I don't know, like, if you're trying to be in an actual, real committed relationship, like, you're trying to be with this person for the rest, if you're trying to be with this person for the rest of your life, you're really trying to be in a relationship with a person, no matter if it's a man or a woman, um, at their hoes, then they're, high, they're they're held in the same regard. If a woman is really trying to be with a nigga and settle down with a nigga, she's not about to be with no hoe, that, no man that's a hoe. It's the same thing with a guy. A guy ain't, if he's trying to sell them, have an actual woman to be the mother of his children, he not about to sell down with no hoe. Now, if niggas are just fucking around, just be fucking around, then yeah, then, then, then yeah, the, the the woman is you know it's more leeway when it comes to the guys. But I don't know. I feel like that's one of those things that's like like that is just nature. Like no one wants to be with the town whore, and then it's like. You know the the man that does get all the women like like that should seem like it's like glory. Um, it's not right either way, but it's just like a thing. Like I can't even really explain explain it. Like that's just like it is like with nature. I don't like like like, like that's just like human nature. 
Like, it's just like, it is what it is genetically. It's not right either way, but... I don't know, it just goes to a thing where it's like, the girl is the one that's getting um, run through. The guy ain't the one getting run through, but the guy can still catch diseases like a woman. Um, woman more often, because like... Because because they're getting ran through by multiple people, and then like the woman, the woman's womb is the, is like the the creator of like life or whatever. Like like that's your temple. Like that shit shouldn't be tainted by you fucking a whole bunch of niggas. But when niggas do be fucking, like 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 pause. But like your dick, that's a part of your temple, nigga. So you got to keep that shit clean and cleanse too. And when you have sex with somebody, you do carry that energy like with you. But, like, that's just one of the things where it's like, that just is what it is with nature. I know it's not a good enough answer, but, nigga, it is what it is, nigga. Shout out to Cam and Mace. And Stat Baby. That's what's the last thing you've done. Um, let a guy on just because they make good money. You're a piece of shit. Um, uh, she, she, she cute, though. I hit those. Um, what's the last thing you've done? I invited a girl to prom, and then the day before prom, after she had bought everything... I canceled on her. That's my last thing. Was there a reason, or you these niggas is you just a piece of shit, niggas? That door and explore in the background. Y'all see that? What the fuck? She literally got the whole. She got the backpack, the shirt, and she got the orange shorts, niggas. That door, nigga. You done? I emailed a girl. Let's. You know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? Quick. I emailed somebody. Mama, I wanted. That's my last thing. You done? Email is a email is crazy. Email sexting is wild. Like, hey, hey, LSU you'll be able be having some fine baddies on this motherfucker. I can't even lie to you. My dude had a. She just looks toxic, nigga, and she look like she yeah she look they both look toxic. I could just tell. So some some of these niggas you could is like you wouldn't know. You could just say look like they look like good human beings, but these niggas you could just tell off the rip. She got this, uh, this goddamn Joker, um, this Joker green going on, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, something definitely wrong with her. My dude had a friend, and his friend called me, and he was like, uh, hey, I'm trying to mess with you. And so, I was still with it, and then my dude ended up picking up the phone, and he was like, yeah, you caught up, you did this and that, you So, yeah. The night before, like, two That's hours crazy. before I broke up with my ex, I fucked somebody, and then two hours after I broke up with my ex, I fucked somebody else. That's what's the thing you've done. Nigga, that's sad, bro. Well, I spray cologne on the jacket I gave to my ex. Now she gotta smell me every time she put on that jacket. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what the fuck you just say, nigga? Is this game? I gave to my ex. With the jacket I gave to my ex. Now she gotta smell me every time she put on that jacket. Or even if she just put it in her room, the room gonna smell like her. That's what's thing. Hey, that's toxic, but that shit sound like game, nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I might gotta use one of those shits, nigga. I might gotta use one of them, bro. Hold on. Hold on. I might gotta use that shit. I can't lie. You done? Uh, I like to make guys mad on purpose for fun. It's like funny to. I know she be in her shit ran through on campus, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Uh, white girl with the cakes. Yeah, I, I know she. Yeah, she be getting her shit blown out, nigga. She, she be taking straight BBC. I ain't gonna lie. This, this nigga got on a, the, the polo puffy with the gold Rolex? Hey, Seth. They, hey, this nigga Seth making that good money from these reels. I see. But, see, like, look at her. Like, like she's like a nice, innocent white girl. She's carrying a plant. She's literally holding life in her hands. But she just said one of the most toxic things. That's the complete opposite of this whole aesthetic. This whole thing she got going on. She like to make niggas mad on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, Seth, you better hit those though, my guy. Um, hey, this video still got over 20 minutes, but I feel like this one, I was really talking. Most of the shit was mostly like story times. But, hey, that's all I gotta say about Zane Fro Fro though. You guys can post your comments down below tell us you guys start. What's your guys' unpopular opinion? What's one of y'all guys' toxic traits? What's one of y'all guys' um, fashion trend that you niggas see is played out? Y'all guys let me know. So, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Which you guys did so subscribe because either you a dragon or you a bitch. Dragon squad. I really thought you loved me, girl. How can this be? I didn't love these hoes. It was only you and me. Two choppers to my chest.
Now I can't